Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my weekly yarny catch up, the week that was. What have I been up to with my knitting and crocheting this week? Well, I've been stepping outside my comfort zone the last couple of weeks and I have been doing some a project I hadn't done. I worked out the other day, I hadn't made one in 40 years. And mainly because I came across a cow I, um, that was happening and had been happening since July and I thought you know I should try that um, even if I don't make the end date of end of September for the cowl it was part of a lead up to another cowl that I want to do is that confusing probably well let's get started so get some glasses out first of all I got happy mail this week um, and I'm going to share that with you. I haven't really opened it yet. Um, I opened the top because it looks like Australia Post may have had to open it a little bit. So my work week was one of those weeks where every day I wish I hadn't got out of bed and gone to work. If it was going to go wrong, it definitely was going wrong. And it didn't change all the way through the week, even Friday. I was so glad to leave work on Friday. And I was cooking some, one of um, Reeves' favourite things, which is a chorizo pasta dish for dinner on Friday night. And he walked through the door with Happy Mail. I didn't know I was getting it. Surprise, Happy Mail. I was absolutely over the moon. It certainly made my week a whole lot better when I got Happy Mail. Now, it's from Suzanne, a subscriber. And um, I'm going to take it out and share it with you. Da -dum, da -dum. It's fairly big. That can tissue. Sorry about, oh my god. Isn't it gorgeous? There's a little card here. Sorry guys. I'm a bit emotional. This is really gorgeous. Dear Judy, I wanted to send you a project bag. I'm happy for you to keep it or give it away if you don't need it yourself. Thanks for your YouTube channel and your kindness. Take care, Suze. I am keeping it. It's awesome. There is also, which I'll get out. Look at that. It's sheep. Black face sheep. Oh, when I was in my 30s, I used to say the thing, why don't we get a farm and raise black-faced sheep and lavender? But it never happened. We were always busy working and it was always a pipe dream that was never really going to happen. And I love black-faced sheep. I'm trying to take this off. I think there's something inside it. <laughs> I can't get it open. I'm so excited. Tissue. Tissue. <laughs> there is a ball of Schweppes skis. I can't say it. Color craft anti pilling yarn in my favorite color, orange, which is called Gent on here. Look at that. <gasps> Squishy, soft, like a. F oh, it's blown the scale. It's a 5.5. It's beautiful. Oh is that and some stitch markers now this is a square bottom bag and um, it's just awesome because it will lead to my next thing which I'm going to talk about because I know what I'm going to use this bag for so guys I am not giving it away and in here I can't get things open I've been out in the garden today and my nails are shot you might be able to see it there is a little black cat and stitch markers. Can you see the pro? Isn't he cute? Oh wow, Suze, you've blown me away just to surprise me with this. And you made this. Now I have a feeling she has an Etsy shop which she sells bags on and she has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to put everything in the description below, everything I talk about. But thank you so much 
because this is going to come in handy in October very quickly and yes I'm keeping it I have one black face sheet bag a little one that was sent to me by my um, secret Santa last year and this one now I really love them thank you very much and I love the yarn it's beautiful I've never seen color crafter I must check that out so that was my happy mail that absolutely made my day I am trying to think what her channel is called just a moment oh, I had to check because I thought if I say it wrong you won't know her channel name so her YouTube channel is Nifty Knits and Crochet as Suzanne. She's in WA and her Etsy store is Nifty Stitches. So please check her out. Have a listen to her videos on YouTube. Give her a thumbs up and encourage her because she hasn't been going very long. But she's been a subscriber to my channel for a while and I do really love this bag. It is perfect. And the yarn and the stitch markers. Wow. I'm blown away. So, what have I been stepping outside my comfort zone doing? Well, I, a couple of months ago, I think, I came across a channel, um, and I want to make sure I get the names right, because people get confused. Ruth Loves to Knit. She's an Irish lady in the UK, and oh, she does phenomenal knitting. And she is doing a collaboration cowl with, now I had to write this down because the names, I have to look again, with dun, 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 Little Monkeys and Me underscore. So remember guys, all the channels I speak about, everything will be in the description below, patterns, whatever, if you want to check them out. Now it is Across the Pond cowl. 2022 and they did it last year and you oh, it's a cross the pond shawl cow so you make a shawl and um, it's been going since July and it closes end of September and I only started two weeks ago because I haven't knitted a shawl in 40 years it's been that long since I've I've crocheted a lot but not knitted and there is something coming up in October which I'll talk about later and I thought this would be good experience getting me ready for October. Um, I didn't think I'd get it finished before the end of September, but I have because I was addicted to it and the pattern. So what have I made? Well, inspired by Ruth Loves to Knit, I decided I would knit, and I've had this in my um, Ravelry library for a while, the Stephen West Boneyard shawl. Now that's not a great picture. It's a free pattern by Stephen West. And I have finished mine. I haven't blocked it, but I have finished it. And I didn't make the size that he made. I stopped. But here is my Boneyard shawl inspired by Ruth Loves to Knit. I decided it was great practice and yeah. It turned out really well. I only finished it today. And the other thing I have never done and I bought towel at is an eye cord um, bind off. I always thought, oh, too complicated. But it wasn't. It's so easy. And it turned out really nice. So I will put pictures on Instagram when I um, get around to taking some tomorrow. It's quite late now. But there's my boneyard shawl. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty good. The yarn I used is Peyton Sierra 8 ply. This one. Now there are 375 meters in a um, ball because it's a 130 gram ball. That's what's left. My shawl, I did about um, 440 meters. What I decided was I really like the autumn leaf shawl I did with um, my yarn in corner, Alex. And I measured from the top of hers to the point because that's I really like that length. 
and that's what I decided to do. I would do the same length as Alex's crochet shawl autumn leaves. And I've just dropped my glasses, so won't be a moment. So this yarn I've used is from the Australian Yarn Company. Um, it doesn't have a colour name. I bought it end of last year, maybe, up from my craft lady on the Tablelands. I really like the look of it and the feel of it. It is soft. However, since knitting it up, I've discovered it's a slightly roving yarn. And you do get little bits falling off along the way or gathering up. And yeah, it has like this, and you can see it there, has a bit of a halo. Now frogging it, because I did make a mistake and have to go back, wasn't too bad. Those fibres will catch, you just need to be careful taking it undone. But yeah, my boneyard shawl pattern, free pattern on Ravelry by Stephen West. A great beginner knitter shawl because you do like um, 10 rows of stocking stitch and a row of knit. It's just about keeping it centered and the size you want is entirely up to you. Um, and yeah, I did the eye cord bind off. I'm really proud of myself. What else did I put down that was important? I used a 4.5 Shigu knitting needle, circular needle. I love my Shigus. Um, and that was about it. I sort of can't say much more about the yarn and the shawl. Now, that's what I was going to say. It feels squishy soft in the ball, but I feel, because I'm quite sensitive around the neck, this, with the because it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool, I'm not sure if I told you that, it might need a bit of an undergarment for me. But you'd have to check it out. There are beautiful colours in this yarn, this Sierra yarn. But there you have it. I'm so excited I have done that. Why? Because I am going to try and do the MCAL with Stephen West in October. His mystery knitting shawl. Now, while I was away and he announced the videos and what you would need, I did do a lot of yarn shopping. And I was looking for yarn for the Stephen West MCAL. And he's quite out there and I wanted to do something different. But I wasn't having much look, luck finding what I thought would do the MCAL justice. Until our last three days in Melbourne. When we headed back to our last three days in Melbourne, I did say to um, thing. Let's go in through Brunswick and Ligon Street. Ligon Street in Melbourne is quite famous for all its food, its flamboyance, everything, especially at night. But we were going, we got there about lunchtime and Brunswick is the far end. The more popular end is closer to the city. But we, after driving, we decided we'd have lunch in the Brunswick end. And Thing did say to me, are there any yarn shops in Ligon Street? And I went, oh think it's manly food. Anyway, I googled it and sure enough, about three doors down across the road was a yarn shop called Maker Maker. And he said, before we head further down Ligon Street, do you want to have a look? And I said, why not? It's not like I haven't bought enough yarn and I'm still looking for yarn for the Stephen West cow, which sort of goes over his head. Anyway, I go in there and ah, oh, I am just blown away. It is the yarn shop I have been looking for my whole holiday trip. And I just don't know where to start and I'm looking. And there's two young girls in there and one comes up. She starts helping me because when I walk in, they're all talking about the Stephen West MCAL. There's an older lady in there who apparently bought yarn. And since watching his video again, she changed her mind about those colours and had come back to buy more yarn. And, um, and I said, that's what I'm here for. I just don't know what I'm going to be doing. And the young girl was helpful, but the older lady customer was really helpful. And then Thing got in on the act, saying what he thought. So this is the best yarn shop of my trip. The two girls in there were lovely. The other customers were lovely. And Thing jumped in. 
So do you want to see my yarn for the Stephen West cowl, M cowl that's coming up in October? So you pick a main colour. There's their card. Maker Maker in Ligon Street. They will ship. You can order online. So you pick a main colour. My main colour. And this is not cheap yarn. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it is called Coral Bark. It is, of course, oranges. Now, this is black wattle yarn and fiber. It's their sweet pea four ply yarn, which is fingering. 100 grams, approximately 400 meters, 437 yarns per skein. It's 60% superwash merino, 20% alpaca, and 20% silk, and it's hand dyed on our farm. Gentle hand wash, dry flat blackwattlefarms.com I think, think I googled them I think they're across the border but there's a little alpaca on there and that will be my main colour coral black discussion ensued and you have to pick a really different contrast colour or like a, a real contrast colour to your main and it was decided pale coral this one, which is more orangey than, it's showing pink there, but it's got a bit more orange to it. Same yarn, black wattle, yarn fibre, sweet pea four ply. It is just gorgeous. The young girl in the shop showed me the colours that she had picked for MCAL. The lady showed me which one she had first bought and it changed her mind. And then she was showing me what she was buying that day. Now, you pick what he calls, I think it's like an accent colour or a pop colour. So this is where Thing jumped in on the act because I just couldn't decide. The older lady that was buying yarn suggested royal blue. The, the young girl suggested navy. And Thing said, no, it should be this. And I decided I don't like green, but I do like the name of this. And he was adamant it had to be this. Rich Emerald is the colour. Same yarn. So that is, if I can get it together, my Sedeven West MCAL yarn, which will start in October, which will be a shawl. So there you have it. I'm trying to hold them. I will try and take a photo, possibly put it on Instagram, if not at the end of this video. But that is going to be taking me outside my comfort zone using this. But out of all the colours suggested and laid, everyone agreed that he had picked the right colour. The blues weren't quite right. But there you have it, ladies. I'm doing the Stephen West Amcal and I am using Black Wattle Yarn and Fibre Sweet Pea Four Ply. That is why I am so excited to get a big project bag because I don't have a really good one for a shawl. And this is going to be my Amcal project bag. So that yarn can go nicely in there till my ball winder thing gets winding them up. Yes, Maker Maker, Ligon Street, Melbourne, Melbourne. just absolutely, uh, they have a website store, it's just really, really a top store, they had so much other good yarn, and I actually, they actually had the Great Ocean Road alpaca yarn that I'd been wanting to look at in there, and um, I know the Great Ocean Road Alpaca yarn is cream and greys and beiges. It doesn't go into a great colour range. But yes, I am ready for my MCAL. I have a great project bag and beautiful yarn. That's what I've been up to this week. The shawl took its time and it was a little hard on my hands knitting all the time. So I am doing my market in October and of course I have no tea towels with toppers my number one sale so for a break I in between all the knitting 
I've started making tea towels ready for my August market. I've done a Christmassy one, you know, just some little tea towels I have started doing. And they gave me a break from the knitting. I do have another knitting project on the go that is big that I've been doing for many months. I think I started it in May, but I'm getting there. I have to be patient and take my time because when I don't, I mess it up. So let me know if you're going to be doing the Stephen West MCAL. I'll put a link to his video or his Ravelry um, pattern where you buy the pattern. And it's not a real pattern, it's just a prompt that you are taking part in the MCAL. And then you get notifications. Um, so that's about it. I haven't really done much other than I've been getting out in the garden more, even though I am knitting. I am also trying to move a bit more rather than just automatically sit down and craft. I've decided I need to get moving a bit more um, because I'm finding as I get older I seize up quicker and I need to be a little bit more flexible. So guys, I hope you have a great week. I hope your yarn adventures for the coming week are awesome. I have some more cows I have to finish before the end of September. Well, I don't have to, but I like to finish and keep up with them. The Tunisian crochet has sort of fallen off the wagon. I am way behind, I have to catch up on that. And don't forget, if you're taking part in my cows, Rock 2022, to post your pictures, We've only had about 10 for September posted so far. That could be the lowest number if no more come in. And we haven't had very many entries in the Scrap Timber, which is just a mini make-along. Um, I think I've had about six or eight pictures for that. Um, but yeah, there are prizes at, for Scrap Timber. So make sure you check out the video. And if you're doing Rock 2022, Make sure you post your pictures or email them to me. Until next time, take care, stay safe, stay well, and have a great crafty week. Bye for now.